Uh, today the title of our lesson is Moon Wind. It's a poem written by Ted Hughes. Before starting our lesson, uh, let's mention the learning objectives. The learning objectives of the lesson are to read and comprehend the text, improve vocabulary, understand the poem, and attempt all the questions. Now I am going to tell you briefly about the poet. Uh, the poet's name is Ted Hughes. Ted Hughes was born in Maidham Wright, Yorkshire. He was an English poet, translator and children's writer. He went to Cambridge University to study English and later switched to archaeology and anthropology. He won many prizes for his poems and was appointed a poet laureate in 1984. Uh, before reading the poem, I am going to give you the summary of this poem. Moon Wind is a very interesting poem written by Ted Hughes. This poem is full of the poet's fantasy imagery. He imagines that if there were earth-like life on moon, everything would be blown by the strong wind blowing there. The poet imagines that the moon wind is so strong that it could rip apart anything held by roots, nails and screws. In this poem, the poet presents a very strange phenomenon of the wind on the moon. He then goes on to point out that the wind seems to be howling all over the moon's surface, but that howling is in utter stillness. It is really a very strange phenomenon indeed, and the poet uses amazing oxymoron such as bright darkness, dark sunlight, or cold flames. In the poem, we also come across very unusual things such as a squall of cabbages and a somersaulting giraffe. Here, we see how the poet has used his imagination to create completely new images with which to amuse and startle us. It is a great poetic creation. And uh, now I am going, going to read this read poem. This poem. Uh, there, uh, is there is a wind, is a wind on, the on the moon at, at all, all. all. yet yeah, things yeah, get blown yeah, about, 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 about in utter, in utter, utter, utter stillness. stillness. Your candle, Your candle shivers, shivers out, 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 out in utter, in utter stillness. stillness. A giant, giant mark booms, booms and flounders, and flounders past, past you, past, 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 like, like a swan at sea. In utter, in utter, utter stillness. stillness. Knocks you Knocks off you your feet in utter, in utter, utter stillness. Utter stillness. While, While you stand, you stand a god, a, god, a, god, a, god, a tearing, tearing twisting sheet, of, sheet of, palm. of palm. Clouds, Clouds you with a frog, frog, frog a camp a of caravans caravan, suddenly, suddenly squats squat, and takes and off. off. A ferris wheel bound along the skyline like a somersaulting giraffe, roots and foundations, nails and screws, nothing can hold fast, nothing can resist the moon's dead still blast. Now pay attention to words meanings. Number one, stillness. Stillness means the absence of movement or sound. Two, clouds. Clouds means hits, strikes. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel means 
A giant revolving wheel as seen at fun fairs. Flounders. Flounders means struggles and plunges as in mud or while wading, wading in water. Giant. Giant means huge. Marky. Marky means a large tent. Squall. Squall means a sudden and violent gust of wind. Utter. Utter means complete. Agog. Agog means excited. Squawks. It means loud, harsh noise. Next is bounce. Bounce means walk or run with leaping strides. Somersaulting. It means turning over completely in the air. Next is resist. Resist means withstand the action or effect of, of something. Dead still blast. Absolutely without movement. Uh, questions answers question a how do things get blown about on the moon if there is no wind answer actually things uh, do not get blown on the moon where gravity is much less uh, as compared to that of the earth here the poet tries to draw the picture of the wind which we find on our planet the movement of things is stopped by the gravity but there is much less gravity on the moon. So the things, uh, when once pushed, move on for a longer time because everything is weightless and the surface of the moon is airless and still. Unscientifically speaking, in any fantasy poem, anything can happen. Question B. When the moon wind begins to blow, some strange things happen make the list of the unlikely things that take place on the moon. Answer. According to the poet, the following strange things happen on the moon. A squall of hens and cabbages knocks you off your feet. A tearing, twisting sheet of pond clouds you with a frog. A camp of caravans squawks. A ferris wheel bounds along the skyline. Question C. Which words does the poet use to describe the following or the movement they make? In what way are the descriptive words appropriate? Uh, the words are candle flame, giant marquee, hens and cabbages, pond, caravans, ferris wheel. Answer. Uh, dear students, I am going to give you the explanation of each word. The first one is candle flame. The candle shivers out. Normally, we would say flicker. But shiver is just as good a word. Its use is odd in that shiver is not associated with, the, with heat but with cold. Here. If the candle shivers out, we feel the cold even more. Uh, the second phrase is giant marquee booms and flounders like a swan at sea. Uh, we have sound, booms and movement here. The image of a swan, a large bird like the large marquee floundering in the sea is apt. The swan is normally serene on a placid body of water, but ungainly when not in its usual environment. Number three, hens and cabbages, a squall, knocks you off your feet. These are then flying haphazardly and at some speed. An image akin to raining cats and dogs one would know too well if one is hit by these flying objects. Number four, pond, tearing, twisting sheet, clouds you with a frog. 
to the eye a pond looks like a sheet of water if this sheet were to suddenly fly towards you it would indeed be tearing and twisting and uh, being clouded by a frog would certainly not only be a surprise but painful as well number 5 caravans uh, the caravans are uh, compared to a flock of birds sitting in a field and then suddenly taking off number 6 ferris wheel bounds along the skyline like a somersaulting giraffe uh, a ferris wheel is large and stands out against the skyline so does a giraffe a spinning giraffe with its long legs sticking out would indeed look like a ferris wheel with its hanging swings flying in all directions Question B What is so strange about the idea in the last line of the poem Can you think of any other expressions of this kind uh, Answer Dead still means absolutely without movement Blast means a strong gust of wind uh, There is a contrast here of opposites It is rather like saying he is like a thirsty fish in water question e uh, do you like the poem can you say why you like or dislike it answer yes i do i like this poem the reason why i like the poem moon wind is that it explains the imaginary beauty of the moon though it is airless the way the poet describes the impossible wind on the moon is amazing moon is the most beautiful object god has given us In addition to that I enjoy the poem's rhyme and rhythm which gives it the natural flow one might find in music uh, this would make it easy for the students to memorize uh, dear student this is the end of the lesson and in the next lesson i would explain the whole poem line by line take care and keep safe goodbye